Tracy Hackler, joined by the great Mike Payne, <laughs> who is the... Can't even live up to that. <laughs> no, you can't. I think you can. Uh, we have in front of us uh, three boxes of 2012 Panini Golden Age Baseball, Mike. And yes. It's a, it's a product that you've worked uh, diligently on for many months now. Yes. Finally coming to fruition. Yep. And uh, Live so tomorrow. Live tomorrow. And... and Talk about what that golden age means. Like, what is there a certain time frame you had in mind when you put this uh, together? Yeah, yeah, there was, and and we kind of expanded <laughs> nice. beyond what the parameters were. Initially, it was going to be the golden age of everything. Americana was right around 1900 to 1979. Okay, but we uh, kind of dipped uh, earlier than 1900 on a couple subjects. But we did not go past 1979. Okay, so it's a pretty broad range. 79 and earlier, <laughs> and the checklist is just amazing in its eclectic. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a yes. Now there's a uh, box topper in here. There's a box topper, uh, everything. Now uh, that I can tell you is a pennant, okay. which is fashioned after the 1916 um, pennants, um, and then there's also a um, it's a movie a five by seven movie poster okay some with memorabilia for dual actors and actresses and some without so every box will have a box topper uh yes and these pennants are uh 1916 ferguson bakery that's what they look like okay now they were the real pennants were bigger obviously but, right to fit into this box and these include like the flocking it's like the it's the flocking which is the felt um, which is hard to do in this country, believe it or not. We had a hard time, Jimmy, Jimmy Fox. Fox, we had a hard time finding uh, the right company, the right vendor to do this, but they did a great job. Yeah. Now there's blue and yellow versions uh, and the same quantities. Okay. Uh, there are 46 different subjects, 48 okay. different subjects. Uh, everything from political to baseball to other sports into um, Watergate, yeah, right. um, and you're going to see a lot of horse racing in here because that, along with baseball, is my passion. Well, well there's a lot of people who've who've taken note of the horse racing inclusion because that's uh, it's been one of the, the most popular things people have talked about. Well, I, I, that's nice of them to say, and I know some people will roll their eyes, but um, I tried not to put too much in here, but I don't know if I succeeded or not because there's an awful lot of <laughs> thoroughbred racing in here. But there's also some history, some thoroughbred history. There's a saddle that was worn by... Uh, Secretariat, Secretariat right? yeah, a workout saddle, which is really cool, and you rarely see that. Great. The second card I pull is the great Larry Fine. Um, That's Larry Fine. That's one of the... Three Stooges. Yes. You'll find all three <laughs> Stooges in here, too. Yes, you will. Now, these minis yeah. uh, have different card backs, and the Ty Cobb back is the toughest. Okay. And it's uh, about one every two to two and a half boxes. Okay. Now, this has the blue broadleaf back. There's a brown broadleaf and a blue broadleaf, but the Ty Cobb back is the toughest. Okay. There's a, a Metal Lark Lemon of the uh, Globe Trotters. Metal Lark Lemon also signed autographs in this product. And then we just mentioned the uh, horse racing inclusions up front. There's uh, a great horse by the name of Seattle Slough. Uh, triple crown winner. And uh, I pulled a um, headlining here. Okay. Jackie Robinson. These are supposed to look like newspaper headlines. Right. They did a, designers did a good job. They, they really did. I mean, the treatment on some of these Images. There's Charlie Chaplin just talking about the eclectic nature of the checklist. And then I got a Joe Jackson mini here, which is extremely cool. Yeah. And so, so each box you're getting 24 packs, six packs or six cards a pack, and one auto, one man. Yes. Yeah, some will have. Uh, some will have. Uh, Two mems, uh, pretty much one auto. Okay. You may uh, find there are a few boxes with two autos. Okay. Oh, well, you got a. Oh, uh, there's the. Well, I got two things. I got a pop up. Yeah, you did. Um, and these aren't related. Uh, there's Barbara Eden. Well, or are they? Uh, who's I Dream a Genie? Just beautiful actress. <laughs> uh, and but then the thing that that caught my these are awesome. Yeah. <laughs> these are, these are pop-ups. Those are fashioned after the 1935-36 uh, 
uh, pop-ups that uh, were very popular and ours uh, are replicated pretty good and they feature all sports and actresses uh, yeah well actors and, and actresses so. although i think this is oh. primarily actresses there we go uh, and it just pops up just like that and yep. you can two per box two per box okay and i got a mini of you got a marianne uh, don wells yeah gilligan's island fame i mean each of these packs is so much fun to open yeah uh, i mean for the price what is the price? Loaded. Uh, Three dollars a pack, okay. seventy-two dollars a box. Nice. Uh, we've got here's Sweet Reesburg. We've got all uh, eight men out. Okay. In, in this product, and we have Joe Jackson and uh, Lefty Williams bat pieces. There's never been Lefty Williams bat pieces, but you know, really? back there, back in 1919, pitchers batted, of course. Right. So uh, we have two of the Black Sox uh, bat pieces, which is is pretty great. It's historic. Here's a the great Bill Russell, and followed by the great Byron Nelson, golf and gray. So all sports represented, all, uh, I mean. Well, look at this. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's one per case. You get a, a actual vintage card from the 30s or 40s. That's, that's and they're insane. just inserted in the middle of packs. That's way cool. One per case. And there is a Ruth and there is a Gehrig. Uh, 33 Ruth, 34 Gehrig, I think. That's crazy. What year is that from? 30? This right here, this would be 33. Wow. We have Eight ships and planes too. <laughs> <laughs> the Titanic and uh, Charles Lindbergh's plane. Spirit of St. Louis. Yes, and we have, have the Hindenburg. Yeah, the, the, and you have monsters as well. We, There's a, it's a Loch Ness. Nessie. Nessie rookie car known, there, uh, sure. <laughs> it's just hard to, it, it, um, the Titanic you mentioned, there's also what is believed to be Deckwood. Yes. Memorabilia cards. Yeah, that was uh, scooped up the uh, morning of the disaster. And then one of my favorite images in the whole set, and I don't know why. Yeah, but I caught a little flack for that. Really? Yeah, because Jimmy Fox didn't catch that much, but he caught. Yeah. And I liked the photo. It's he, awesome. he caught, you know, just a very few games. He was a first baseman primarily, and that's what he's known for. But I thought it was different enough to go ahead and keep it on the card. What caught my eye? Here's a, uh, here's an insert. It looks like the Newark Evening World Supplements from 1912 to 1913. Design is very similar. The original Newarks were just baseball. We've got, uh, shockingly enough, we have horses on here. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, and other athletes as well. I got our memorabilia card in this box. It's uh... Mary, Mary Pickford, Pickford. The, yep. the lovely yes. Mary Pickford. <laughs> no words really needed. Absolutely. And the, there's a cool shot in the back. It's just a cool looking throwback back. This is kind of an interesting pack. We've got Penny Chenery, who is the owner of Secretariat. Uh, Diane Lane played her in the movie, mm -hmm. the 2010 movie. Uh, and she signed autographs for this product as well. She's never done that before. Really? Yes. These these are her first uh, autographs that she's ever signed. And in the same pack, we get Secretariat. We get the mini card. It's <laughs> perfect. That seems appropriate, doesn't it? It does. Say. So, uh, and this is the red Crofts candy bag. There's also a blue Crofts candy, which is tougher than the red. Okay, there's a John Dean. John Dean, yeah. He was part of the Watergate uh, yes. situation. Yes, he was. Uh, <laughs> he was a White House counsel. And, uh, yeah, he, uh, he, I mean, he admits it. Right. You know, he, he doesn't try to hide from it. Uh, look, I got the, uh, I got an autograph. Outstanding. Would be the great Richard Petty. That is the, the, that is an apt name for him. He is great. Yes. Auto racing legend, great signature, just real big. Yes. And most of the signers in this set were just real bold, 
awesome signature. Well, we used the black and white photos to help the blue ink pop mm, off. Right. Now, that's not to say if we do another one in the future, we'll do black and white photos for autographs, but we, we tried it this year, and I, I thought the, the autos pop off pretty well. They really do. And the che the the checklist of signers is just so... It's pretty deep. Well, hey, we got Marsha Brady. It's hard to go wrong. <laughs> yeah. Like, all we're missing now is Elizabeth Montgomery, and we got the... Well, she she's, uh, she's in here. So is... Gordy Howe, by the way. Gordy Howe autographs are in here. Mr. Hockey. He also signed some beautiful on-card autographs for Golden Age. Here's a Ty Cobb. Wow, this is this is a good one. Here's Ty Cobb. Mini with the Ty Cobb back. That's tough, isn't it? Yeah. This has been a good box. Um yeah, it's it's. Get the there's, there's a lot. There's a lot here. Also, um, we should tell tell them that there are short prints in here, and they are labeled as SPs on the back. Oh, nice. So if it's card 108, uh, and it's one of the 10 short prints, it'll say 108-SP. So there's no. That's guessing. a nice touch. Yeah. And those are in the. And base they, and also the mini, and, or? Um, those are just those are in the base, and okay. what they are, it's the same card back except for the SP designation, okay. but a completely different photo. That's cool. Here's Curly Howard. How we pulled two thirds of the of the Stooges. There's also a card with all three of them in there, and it's it looks great. Yeah. The colorized photo. Bob Feller battling Nelson. Yeah, I was going to ask you about him. Yeah, he's a uh, he was a lightweight champion. Uh, from the turn of the century, and a lot of people don't know about them, and that's what we want to do with this. is It's golden age, yeah, and we want to um, try to educate people um, with you know uh, athletes and personalities from the turn of the century. Mm -hmm. So, if you had to pick w one one favorite card or inclusion in the set, what would it be? I mean, is it the horse racing stuff, or is it? Yeah, it, it is. Um, I'm a big Ty Cobb fan too, but the saddle. Uh, the Secretary saddle that was used, um, uh, you know, for really his three years, part of his two-year-old uh, year and his, and his three-year-old year as a workout saddle. It, it's not a triple crown race saddle, but right. it's a workout saddle. But it, those are those never come up. Right. And we were fortunate um, this one uh, we were able to secure. Uh, that's a really cool card. Yeah, we showed a picture of it on the blog a while back, but... I haven't seen one in person. And the Titanic wood, um, as you might guess, is is um, is an SP. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's not uh, a lot you, of stuff if you, if you pull one, uh, you've really got something. That's it's, awesome. It's pretty great. So yeah. I think there's something for everyone here. The price is certainly right. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of little um, surprises throughout, yeah. and uh, I think the images are great. Yeah, the, the photography colorized the a lot of the black and white photos. They did they did a good job. It makes a big difference in the photo, the the, the striking nature of the photos. Well, well thank you for having me. Oh man, thanks for coming on. That was a fun that was yeah. a fun break, and uh, hope that you all have as much fun opening it when you get a chance. It's live everywhere on Friday, and uh, we'll probably give some boxes away or some hits. Stay tuned to find out how you can do that. And Mike, thanks for coming on. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you all, and we'll see you. We love you.